Hello, and this is a short overview of uh, functions. Uh, I think this would maybe uh, one part uh, of many, but who knows. Anyway, of this uh, Hewlett Packard uh, 54645D mixed signal oscilloscope, uh, the only difference uh, between uh, D and A. Um, machines is that D has that 16-bit uh, digital probes in it so you can you can monitor digital signals uh, decode them use as a trigger etc etc so this is a nice example of uh, late 19th uh, middle to late 19th engine engineering uh, Hewlett Packard uh, lately a giant uh, made this uh, digital one of the first I think digital oscilloscopes on, on, on the market uh, which is uh, perfectly working uh, nowadays uh, this one is was refurbished with uh, calibrated and uh, sold to me recently so what have we here we will just use a sample signal like this. Uh, this is just me touching the tip, uh, a tip of, of the probe. Yeah, we will just use the sample signal to show, uh, to, to discover the functions of the oscilloscope. So the magic button is here, auto scale. So you could just press it and it automatic, automatically um, <clears throat> set up uh, you the volts to division scale and uh, milliseconds and uh, time to division scale. So now we have one volt, uh, one volt div and five milliseconds div. Uh, this is uh, this is the basic setup, which is uh, active uh, briefly after power up, but you can you can save your own. You can save your own setup memory up to ten positions. You can you can have virtually anything and saved to position one to ten, and then as well uh, you can recall them and uh, see uh, all all the stuff you have configured earlier. So up to ten people or up to ten uh, measuring cases could be uh, programmed into it. Also, also you can you can reset it to default, etc., etc. It's it's not so interesting. What is interesting, in fact, that it can it has several display modes. So uh, the the main and I think the most interesting thing for uh, digital oscilloscopes, which is uh, the feature which is nowadays are uh, is not available anymore i think it's uh, vectors so you can turn your vectors off and the oscilloscope will show only the measured points so if i if i stop if i stop the uh, sync and to see this in detail you could see the separate points, separate measured value. Well, you could you could turn on vectors, and the electronics will connect uh, each point with a vector, which will lead to the more recognizable uh, picture at the end. So let's put back our signal and run the sync normally so uh, it has a mode it has a mode called this is a, a normal display mode and we could put it to peak detection mode uh, this mode uh, this mode will use the maximum sample rate uh, at any signal to to see to see all the all the peaks all the all the differences between uh, all the small all the small details of the symbol uh, of the signal we are examining um, the opposite to 
peak detection mode is the average mode, which could, which could be turned here, and uh, we can uh, we can just well we can we we can define the number of uh, measurements, which uh, number of scans uh, to average, and now when I'm touching the probe, when I I'm touching the probe, it it will rise slowly. It will rise slowly, and it basically it averages uh, the signal from many measurements, which allow us to, for example, to deal with very noisy signals. So this you can do in average mode. Of of course you can you can turn on or or off every every other bits here in this menu. So this is this is for display button. Another interesting feature of this particular oscilloscope is the auto storage mode or it looks like this. It it shows you it shows you like um, shadows uh, all around the your curves where the signal has been uh, through the storage time, which which could be adjusted. So uh, now I, I the signal is uh, is straight, but you can see the shadows on the screen. So you could you could follow the variations of your symbol of your signal in in time. You can you can clear by pressing the erase button. Yeah, but and again you can start the um, signal storage like this, and you are clearly seeing where is all the uh, all your measurement where 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 in 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 time. So uh, just like this, yeah. Another very convenient feature is uh, the uh, delayed. Uh, or split uh, so we should turn off turn this off uh, is the delayed sweep so called it could be it could be turned on like this And you may press the uh, you, you may select one of the horizontal modes, main mode as uh, functions as any other oscilloscope, the delayed uh, X Y mode. So so you can you can put your Y uh, component through the uh, second probe or roll. Now now you, we will test the delayed mode, which is very interesting thing. Uh, the uh, sweep time, the main uh, sweep time of your main window is predefined. Was taken from the uh, main mode, so we 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 have five milliseconds per division, and uh, yeah, we could adjust it, but let's put it to ten. Yeah, and then when we put the uh, when we turn on the delayed mode, yes. We uh, could see the same signal in two in two window in two separate windows. This is our uh, main signal, what have, what we seen previously, and uh, here is the same signal but uh, swept with another uh, speed, uh, two milliseconds per um, division. So and you can you can adjust you can adjust. Uh, the window, you see those two uh, cursors are moving. You can adjust the window, and you can like zoom in, uh, zoom in at any part of your of your signal, which is a very convenient. You you could zoom in. You could you could uh, like uh, take it to any part of the signal you want to see. For example, this one. Yeah, and and you can you can see your uh, signal alive and, and in in details. 
this is indeed a very convenient function uh, of this uh, digital oscilloscope. Nowadays, uh, this is not magic, but uh, back then, in mid 90s, this uh, you couldn't achieve this uh, kind of service uh, by means of any other uh, instrument, any other tool. So. Um, yeah, I think I think it's enough for today. Thank you for thank you for watching and uh, scream for more. Bye bye.